Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6. This is equal to 80. So what is the value of x? Given that x is an element of real numbers. So let's provide a solution from here. So we have x to the power of 9, which we can express as x to the power of 3, raised to the power of 3, then plus x to the power of 6, this can be expressed as x to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 80. Since x to the power of 3 is common here, then that means we can let x to the power of 3 be equal to u. Substituting u, then this means we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2, this is equal to 80. Now let's take 80 on the left hand, left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 80. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 80, which is minus 64 minus 16. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2, subtract 64, which we can express as 4 to the power of 3, then subtract 16, which is 4 to the power of 2, then this is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 3. So this is u to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2, subtract 4 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. This is the difference of two cubes, expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And the second part here, this is the difference of two perfect squares, expressed as a squared minus b squared. Now, a to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3, this can be expressed as a subtract b, then a squared plus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. Applying this identity, then u to the power of 3, minus 4 to the power of 3, this can be expressed as u minus 4, then here we have u squared plus 4 times u, which is 4u, then plus 4 squared, which is equal to 16. Let's call this equation 1. The second part here, this is the difference of two perfect squares. That is a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So this means that u to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2, this can be expressed as u plus 4 multiplied by u minus 4. And let's call this equation 2. Now let's combine equation 1 and equation 2. So that we have u minus 4 multiplied by u squared plus 4u plus 16 then plus u minus 4 multiplied by u plus 4 this is equal to 0. So we have that u minus 4 is common here so we can factor out u minus 4 into the parentheses, this is u squared plus 4u plus 16. Then plus, here we have u plus 4. Close the parentheses, this is equal to 0. Now, this is u subtract 4. Into the parentheses, this is u squared plus 4u plus u, this is 5u then plus 16 plus 4, this is 20, close the parentheses, 
this is equal to zero. So we have got two parts here. The first part is u minus four. This is equal to zero. And the second part here is a quadratic equation, which is u squared plus five u plus 20. This is equal to zero. So from the first part here, we have that u is equal to four u is equal to 4. The second part here is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and that c is equal to 20. Now, let's assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 is c. Let's substitute the values of a b and c so that now here we have 5 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 20. So we have 5 squared this is equal to 25 minus 4 times 20 which is equal to 80. So 25 minus 80 this is the same thing as minus 55 which is less than zero. And this implies that here we have two complex roots. We have two complex roots. And in other words, this quadratic equation cannot give us a real solution. So there is no real solution from this quadratic equation. So this quadratic equation is rejected. This quadratic equation is rejected. We can proceed. Now, let's focus on u, which is equal to 4. Okay. If you recall, if you recall, we can clearly state that let x to the power of 3 be equal to u. So here we have x to the power of 3. This is equal to 4. x to the power of 3. This is equal to 4. Now we have x to the power of 3, this is equal to 4. So this means that to solve for the value of x here, we introduce a cube root on both sides. So we have the cube root of x to the power of 3. This is equal to the cube root of 4. So here we can eliminate the cube root sign here, so that x is equal to... Now this is the cube root of 4. Or we can express x as 4 to the power of 1 over 3. x is equal to 4 to the power of 1 over 3. Now, let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Let's verify. If you recall, we have that x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. Now, let's substitute 4 to the power of 1 over 3. 4 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 9 then plus 4 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 6 this is supposed to give us a value of 80 so 4 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 9 this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n times m Applying this exponent property, then we have 4 to the power of 1 over 3 times 9, then plus 4 to the power of 1 over 3 times 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. So let's simplify here. 9 divided by 3, this is equal to 3. So we have 4 to the power of 3, then plus now, 6 divided by 3, this is equal to 2. So we have 4 to the power of 2. This should give us a value of 80. So, 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 64. Then plus 4 to the power of 2, this is 16. Then this should give us a value of 80. So, 64 plus 16, this is equal to 80 which is equal to 80. So 
the left add side is equal to the right add side and it's clear that the value of x here which is equal to 4 this to the power of 1 over 3 or the cube root of 4 satisfies the equation so kindly like this video follow the steps if you have alternative solution method kindly provide in the comment section see you in the next video